My name is Bailey, and today I'm going to share with you some of my research about environmental degradation. Let's get started. Environmental degradation is the de deterioration of the environment caused by depleting natural resources, whether it is done by opening a chemical plant or deforestation. Those that are poor or at risk for poverty suffer as the environment is manipulated, and we should consider whether it is acceptable to use the environment for capital gain of one group of people at the expense of another group. These practices have an impact on the access to resources and have a sustainable negative impact in the geographic areas where occur, which is concerning to see. People living in areas that are becoming industrialized must exert more effort and spend more time to get the same basic resources as the nearby supplies, like firewood and water, become diminished. John Rawls' theory of justice is that we should divide the gains and burdens of our society fairly. By knowing nothing of ourselves and our own situation when coming up with the principles of a society, it would ensure that everyone has equal opportunity and is treated fairly. Environmental degradation is an unfair practice that tends to benefit the rich and harm the poor, and therefore Rawls would likely take opposition to this practice. The long-lasting impact of environmental degradation can be seen decades later, like in the case of an abandoned mine in the Philippines that caused extremely negative health effects in those living nearby. Another example of the long-lasting effects from extracting natural resources is in uranium mining in northern Saskatchewan, where the people of Larange are some of the poorest in the country and work at the mines to better themselves and their families. The long-term effects of working around uranium can be fatal, and these people have little choice but to work in such circumstances. Aristotle believed that a good society relies on the virtue of those who live there, and certain virtues are worthy of honour and reward. Those who begin companies to extract these dangerous resources from the earth benefit from the profits of the business, and people living nearby or working in these facilities are put at risk of the long-term negative effects. When applied to the treatment of the environment and the negative impact it has on humans, we realize that the wrongdoings that are being committed to increase poverty rates and decrease the quality of life for many are overwhelming, and this is a display that no amount of distributive justice is taking place. Therefore, Aristotle would disagree with these actions. Immanuel Kant formed a rule-based theory where the decision itself, not the consequence, is the important part of an action. Since degrading the environment is wrong, harming the environment and stripping it of natural resources is not justifiable. Harming the environment should not become a universal law, and therefore, no one should make the decision to degrade the earth. As industrialization continues, research is being done on less harmful production methods for metal, among other things. The goal in this is to decrease the impact on global warming, which will comply with Kant's theory since it should be universal law for everyone to protect the environment and find production alternatives that are less harmful. Environmental degradation, however, would not comply with Kant's theory. Some very interesting information I came across in my research was the poverty rates in the United States in the 1980s. I was shocked to see that the rates were five times higher for female-headed families than the rate for married couples with families. I was also astounded at how much higher the poverty rates were for female-headed families that were black or Hispanic compared to Caucasian. I am relieved that affirmative action policies are an attempt to alleviate this inequality as women in minority groups are given higher priority for jobs than they were in the 80s. With continued efforts at allowing equal opportunities for all, equality may one day become a reality. Thanks for watching.